Hi YouTube, this is Erin. Uh, my channel on YouTube is Baby Vlog, and this is going to be my 11 week breastfeeding update. So I thought it would be a good time to do one. Um, Willow, as you can see, is feeding right now. She's uh, pulling off right now because I have a very, I have an overactive letdown. <coughs> Or a very forceful letdown, so when that happens, she pulls off. I catch the milk in a receiving blanket. <laughs> so I actually tuck the receiving blanket in my bra also, which really, really helps. Because then you don't get wet bras all the time. <laughs> Figured there was no better time to do a breastfeeding update than when I was breastfeeding. Because it kind of helps me remember some things. Now breastfeeding is so easy. It's easy to do in public, it's easy to do at home, it's easy, I mean it's just, it's gotten so much easier. There's still some challenges, um, like anything, uh, there, like what I find is that she is um, getting a little, she's starting to get a little more distracted, so um, now she'll like look up at me, and it's so awesome when she does that, when she looks up at me, with her big blue eyes, and you know, and then when she hears noises, she'll kind of look side to side, and it's it's so cute. And sometimes she'll smile on my boob, so she'll smile, and then like I do that too. The, <laughs> shush. And then the corners of her mouth will like you know open like a smile, and then you can just see she's just sitting there on the nipple, but she's not actually doing anything. So it's that's pretty funny. But uh, so far we've nursed um, at like countless friends and family's houses. Um, a movie theater, in the car, I mean, where else have we done, like, doctor's office, um, you know, like, just different places where, um, actually, at a, a well-baby walk-in clinic, too, I've nursed there, but yes, yeah, so we've pretty much had experience breastfeeding all over, which is great, um, and it does get a lot easier to do, of course, and uh, the only things that are still presenting a bit of a challenge um, is my overactive letdown. So, as soon as the milk starts coming, um, it, like, it's literally, she can't drink through it. Um, now I know she'll grow into that, or at least they say that she'll grow into that, or the letdown will get, you know, not to be so active, but, um, right now it's, like, incredible. She just, it just, like, flies out, and she's trying to drink, and she's choking, and it's, like, a hot mess. So, but she, uh, my left side is obviously, it's not as bad um, as my right. My right is like super powered boob. My left is not so bad. So I'm sure some of you have experienced kind of one side being stronger than the other. Um, she's starting to sleep through the night. Uh, last night she slept 10 hours straight. So from 10.30 till 8.30 in the morning. So of course when I woke up, I was so engorged. And I block feed, so... Um, she fed off my left side in the morning and then my right side was just so full. I went through two breast pads and it like soaked through the second breast pad into my bra and into my t-shirt. So that was fun. So it's definitely like her sleeping through the night, like my breasts are still trying to get used to that as well. Um, she's still kind of doing a weird like that. The weird, like, it's almost like she's losing suction at the breast. Um, what it, I, what I think it is is when my breast gets so full, I think she just has a hard time, like, you know, putting more flesh into her mouth. So it's more like she's just kind of on the edge and she's losing suction. Really, it's been, it's been pretty good. She's gaining weight really, really well. So I know, like, that's a, good, that's a sign breastfeeding's going well. Um, she's now at, she was born at 613. And, or 6 pounds 13 ounces, and now she is 12 pounds 7.5 ounces, um, and she's only 11 weeks old. So that's uh, that's going well. I'm still using the Milky's Milk Saver, if you saw my product review for that, sometimes, not very often. And I'm trying to, when I have time, pump a little bit. And I have about 25 ounces of frozen breast milk in the freezer now. Um, I'm trying to build up, build up a bit of a supply, or a bit of a stash, I should say, uh, just because I have a wedding I'm standing in, and I want to make sure that I have enough milk for that. But yeah, otherwise everything's going really well. Um, she she still eats well. Um, you know, she eats every probably every three hours still. Um, 
every three to four hours. And then again at night she goes like anywhere from six to ten hours. So it's awesome. Can't complain. Um, but yeah, I've been pretty lucky so far. I've had, I, I don't even want to say this out loud, but knock on wood, I've had no problems with like block ducks or mastitis or thrush or anything like that. Hoping that continues. That would be awesome. But I did have a few questions from you all. Okay, the questions that I got, I wanted to answer them really quickly. Um, so someone was saying that in one of my YouTube videos, I've uh, um, talked about Willow spitting up. Well, she does spit up, and the reason that she does, it's not anything like acid reflux. Um, the reason she spits up is because of that weird suction thing. She's swallowing a lot of air, and sometimes with the overactive letdown, she swallows a lot of air. So before, before I knew that what the problem was, um, she would come off the boob, she would, you know, get um, burped, and like she would spit up what looked like a lot of milk. But what was happening was like as she was swallowing air, it was sitting in her belly or in her wherever air sits. And then when I burped her, it would come up, but it would push any milk that was sitting on top of that air up as well. So she now what we try to do is if I do notice that she's swallowing a lot of air, I will stop her to burp her more often. And she, yes, she cries and screams when I do that because um, she's like, put me back on, you know. But it helps a lot. It helps her to actually like get the air out and continue. Um, if it is something like a reflux issue, then my which my friend Jess, um, her son uh, has acid reflux, they recommend to keep them um, up upright after you feed them for about 30 minutes and um, and then I think even um, giving them a pacifier, my friend Jess was saying, um, helps them build more saliva which actually helps keep the acid down. So I, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Like Willow's problem really is the air. Um, so I just, again, frequent burpings. Burpings? Yeah. And uh, yes, I do block feeder. I think someone was asking that as well. I do, um, I do just feed her on one side. But again, I only really stop to burp her a lot if I, she sounds like she's swallowing a lot of air. Otherwise, I just leave her. Now, now that she's getting a bit older too, what I find she's doing is she's burping on my boob. So like she'll be like right up against it and then she'll just like let out a big belch and she's still on my nipple. So it's quite funny. Um, another question was what do you wish you would have known before you started breastfeeding Willow? Um, probably how painful the first two weeks really were going to be. Or maybe even the first three weeks. I wish I would have known because I think that um, it would have prepared me a bit better. You know, and I wouldn't have been as surprised. Because I kind of had this vision that, like, I would come home from the hospital, or, like, in the hospital, um, I would breastfeed her, and it would be, like, just, like, this natural, easy thing. And it really wasn't. So I kind of wish I would have known that. I would have been a little less hard on myself. And I kind of wish I would have known about breastfeeding support groups as well. You know, just people that you can talk to that can share their experiences and things like that. That would have been awesome as well. And lastly, not to pump when you're first engorged because that just makes the problem way worse and prolongs it way more. So, this is the question. I love breastfeeding my seven week old, but I feel like I'm tethered to my house because I don't feel comfortable feeding in public. Do I have any advice? Yes. Um, don't worry about, like when, you're, when you go in public, don't worry so much about like what anyone else is going to think. And I know that's easier said than done, but invest in a really good nursing cover. So um, I have this one. This one is a Baby Olay. Uh, they were also known as uh, Hooter Hiders, I think, before the brand name was. Anyway, this cover is phenomenal. I love it. I have an Udders cover as well. I don't like it as much. But this one um, has the structured boning in it. So when you put it over your head... I'm going to just put it over mine now, and you put it over your baby, it's got like this structured boning so that like you can actually kind of put it like that and it stays out. Like I know you can't really tell on camera, but like I can put my hand in and I can see her. Now the one thing I will say is that if you're going to buy one of these, Consider not getting the black and white patterned one. The reason I say that is because babies at this age love black and white patterns, so Willow will lay under it and just literally like 
stare at the pattern forever. But the other cool thing about this one is that in the inside, on both corners, there's this terry cloth material which you can use to wipe up their their like any milk dripping or whatever. And there's pockets. So I actually put my breast pads in there. You know, so I can um put I I put the cover on, I put the blanket up to me cuz again, I have the active letdown thing. Then what I do is take out my breast pad, I put it in the pocket, and then whenever she's done, I can use the blanket I have already under there, or I can use the corner of this, and then I can take my breast pad back out and put it back in. Um, but I would just say, like, what I, some of the things I found to be really helpful is I always try to wear sweaters instead of, like, just a nursing top, because um, I find just the nursing tops, like, obviously you have to expose your breast, but if you have a sweater on, or, um, you know those kind of sweaters that don't have any buttons or zippers, they just kind of, like, come over, and they're long, um, anyway, they're almost like a shawl, but they have sleeves and stuff. Those I find perfect, because, um... Like, what you can do is then just take the sides of it, and you could even use that to drape over your baby as you're getting the baby on. Once the baby's on, like you're seeing I'm breastfeeding right now, you can't see anything. It just looks like I'm holding her in this way, right? Um, so I would definitely say, like, invest in a good cover, and then just practice. Try doing it in places that aren't as uncomfortable, maybe like, like a doctor's office, or, you know, other family members' house, houses, or friends' houses use your cover and until you get comfortable um, you know then then kind of go out but um, there's a video on this channel of another lady who did a video about um, nursing discreetly in public so check that out as well because that should help um, and the last question I have right now and again I'll, I can answer more later is um, what uh, what do you think other first-time mothers uh, should find or would find useful to buy or prepare for when baby gets here um, when we try to breastfeed. Breast pads, lots of them. If they're on sale, definitely stock up. I like the Johnson's breast pads myself. I've tried a lot of them. They're my favorite. Um, you need breast pads. It's not a bad idea to get yourself a um, hand pump or one of those Milky's milk savers just to collect the excess milk or sometimes just to pump off a little teeny bit if you're really super engorged but you don't want to pump a lot because then you're just going to, you know, your body's going to think it needs that much. Um, invest in lanolin cream. I don't use it anymore because my, my nipples are basically like rubber nipples now. I'm not even joking. But um, in the beginning it was so crucial because it hurt so much in the beginning. Well, at least for me. And not to scare you, but like I wish someone would have said that, you know, before. Um, good nursing bras. Like, and get a lot of them. And like maybe even nursing bras and tanks, like a mixture of both. That's so helpful. I love the nursing tanks because really when you first bring your baby home from the hospital you're feeding them two to three hours, like every two to three hours, all day, every day. So it's so good just to have comfy clothes that you like that it's like just whip your boob out, you know? Like that's all, like that's all you want. Comfy, comfy nursing bras or tanks. Um, the tops and stuff can come later, you know? Uh, but the bras and tanks right away. And what else? A good nursing pillow. I have the boppy here. I like the boppy. A lot of people don't like the boppy, but I actually like it. I find it comfortable. Um, you know, it's it's maintained its shape like so far, and I've used it every day. You know, how many times? Every day. Um, so that's been helpful. And then I like the big receiving blankets like this. Because like I said, I tuck one end into my bra. It, I don't need, I don't know why I didn't do that from the very beginning. Because I would like get breast milk all over my bras and have to switch them right away or else they would smell like spoiled milk. And it was horrible. So these are awesome. Because these are a lot easier to, to clean and they're cheaper. So um, it's better to have a lot of these. So receiving blankets are helpful. Um, I'm sure I'm missing some stuff, but... Anyway, those are some initial initial ideas. So if you have any questions whatsoever, leave them as a comment. And when I do my next breastfeeding update, I will definitely um, add them as uh, into the video. Um, and you can also post them onto my Facebook page, which you just have to search Erin Baby Vlog. Uh, baby Vlog's all one word. And, uh, and then I'm more than happy to answer them there as well. Okay? So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye!